Now, you know I couldn't end the month without giving you some mods. I mean, I could, but I just choose not to. What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all have a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side because today, here are some mods for The Sims 4 that you may have missed that you're gonna wanna put in your game. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Because the first mod I want to tell you about is the Ownable Apartments mod from Wicked Pixel. Now, you know, when it comes to apartments in the game, our closest are from either City Living or from Eco Lifestyle. Can't own them, and they're like one floor out of like multiple, but that are like not functional. Now, you do need to get to work expansion pack for this mod, but if you have that, then you're able to own low income apartments, a luxury apartment, or a condo. You can build your own, but you can also download from the gallery, which is what I did. And then your sim is able to to go to the computer and choose apartments and then choose the type of apartment they want to own after they do that you can put some money in the business fund and then you're good to go now you'll need to create a leasing office which i just turned one of the apartments into a leasing office and you'll have some new options that you can do so you click on apartments and then you can do services or in leasing office if you choose leasing office you're able to get the landlord trait and then you'll be able to populate tenant to basically give a review to. So you can ask them how much income do they earn? Where are they employed? Do they have a felony? Approve the apartment lease, deny the lease, and also evict the tenant, which will remove the tenant trait from the NPC. I just went ahead and approved everybody because like I know how it feels like to try and get a place. And I'm like, I'm not gonna deny you a place of housing. Even if you do have a felony, even if you, well, you, I wanna make sure you got a job so you can at least pay it. But you know, somebody else can pay for you. You know, as long as I get my money, it's fine. You can collect your money every 24 hours, I believe the rent every 24 hours if your sim owns the lot then you'll be able to get some buffs like leaky faucet from being a landlord dirty filter broken window broken heating system and roach infestation which you'll need to take care of by going to the services menu and either call an exterminator a maintenance service a plumbing service or a window repair service i'm not gonna do none of those if it's like a low income <laughs> let me stop <laughs> let me stop <laughs> but yeah you can collect rent from the leasing office every 24 hours there are some known issues but it's pretty self-explanatory it's pretty, pretty straightforward i did have so much fun with this mod when i was courting it and i can't wait to play with it a little bit more maybe even own like multiple apartments to see how much i can how much i can get from it but yeah that is basically the mod make sure you go and you check it out well, let's go ahead and move on to the next mod all right this mod is also from wicked pixel and it allows me to live out my dream well one of my career dreams of being a bouncer at a nightclub is their nightclub bouncer career mod like it says in the name it is a career mod that allows you to basically be a bouncer at a nightclub so what you're gonna have to do you get a nightclub of course i chose the iconic discotheque in windenburg and then you have to give your sim the bouncer lot trait in cast after that you start the bouncer gig event which is a gold reward of 500 simoleons which i'm gonna go ahead and assume this like bouncers make in general not 500 simoleons because you know simoleons are like fictional but around the same actually if you a bouncer you know a bouncer you date a bouncer your sneaky league was a bouncer let me know how did they get paid because <laughs> even though i was like I, I wanted to you know be one and throw on my authority i don't really know how they get paid i guess it's like an hourly type deal do bouncers get tips are you supposed to tip your you know let me back anyway once you get there you're able to have all these interactions like greet a club goer chat with the club goer ask for id which only appears with the teen sims because they do try to sneak into the club you can check for weapons you can check for drugs you can threaten to force off the premises you can even ask them how many drinks they've had you can give them a hand step and get escort off the premises escorting off the premises doesn't really escort them it just makes them leave automatically but you know Oh, it's fine it got to go and like i said before teen sims are gonna try and get onto the premises sometimes multiple at once and then you have to ask when you gotta have to do an id check again i had fun with this mod it kept me busy and of course the sim hours just went pretty fast and i don't think anyone had any weapons on them but you never know the thing is done the event closes and you get your money and you know you can come back the next night I would suggest you go earlier but i feel like clubs don't open like they don't get hop into like midnight and you know how sims are once 2 a.m hits they all gone so play it by ear i guess but yeah that is the mod make sure you go and check it out but let's go ahead and move on to the next mod so the next mod is gonna be super cute and i want to shout out sibulet for sing this over to me it is their little dino set which is a build by set and it's just the cutest i, I i've had my dinosaur moments okay i really had my dinosaur moments 
Now this pack comes with 30 new items with eight different seamless pattern wallpapers with a pack of 40 matching plain painted wallpapers, child's bed, a toddler's bed, a chair with lots of colored combinations and hanging chair, a desk, two dressers, and a bedside table, a ceiling lamp, and an anti-monster bedside lamp, which is so cute. A functional Diplodocus toy, a large MA plushie, and a wicker laundry basket, which requires laundry day DLC but it can be the core slash base game. You you know, you don't have the Laundry Day DLC, which I do, which I'm going to be using as Laundry Day DLC because I feel like we need more laundry baskets for those of us who wanted the Laundry Day DLC. If you didn't want the Laundry Day DLC, then it's okay, but I voted for it, so it's fine. There's potted plants, small succulents, and ivy for the bed, and then there's a leaf-shaped rug, posters, hanging robe, and backpack. There's a height chart, which is super cute, which I got confused because I was like, where's the rest of it? But then I had, I was like, you know what, let me stop being lazy and put a wall here color pencils decor pop-up books bed cushions that actually have a seamless and english version and it's just so adorable of course the swatches everything the neutral tone well the base tone is a nice wood greenish finish because you know dinosaurs but it does have some nice other swatches like reds and blues and the black is just gorgeous so yeah again shout out to Simbolette for saying this to me it's so cute it's so adorable and especially it comes at a right time for the babies and the new expansion pack that's coming out so make sure y'all stuck up on these fan made packs because it's about to get it's, it's it's about to be a lot of family gameplay in the sims community so i want you to be prepared but yeah that is the mod make sure you go and check it out but let's move on to the next mod all right so the next mod i want to talk to you about is from samik and Savinka. it is their gift boxes macarons and i want to let you know right now i love macarons they are delicious i wish i could go get some right now but that would take me an hour and i don't really want to do that i'm kind of lazy right now but if somebody wants to go give me some macaron then i will be grateful but anyway it is basically compatible you do need to get their cookbook mod just a quick fy any other food mod i show from sarinka sarinka said you have to get this mod along with it so you know if you have any other food then you probably already have this mod but there's four types that you can get there's the gift box of macarons the viennese coffee the delicate romance the breakfast in paris and then the everyday joy which is a stackable the other four are kind of like in box sets that come with roses and there's macarons to be honest with the price you like okay all rip macarons are a grip They're like two dollars a piece four dollars if you go somewhere really pricey but you know they're so good i'm just happy once you get it you're able to get like multiple macarons out of it you probably give them as a gift like a valentine's day gift or whatever gift i don't know what gifts you're giving your sims these days i'm usually giving you know poison but it'd be like that sometimes you know it's a little fun thing that we do so go ahead and grab this mod if you haven't already but let's move on to the next mod y'all know i love me some loading screens and 20th century plumb bomb never disappoints especially when it comes to default replacements so this is the bella and mortimer gauze loading screen now what's different about this little screen is clearly the plumb bob in the middle has been shrunk down to where it appears on top of bella's head now this comes in three different colors blue red and white my favorite is the red i don't know why it's just it just does something for me and bella and mortimer are iconic i will stand bella and mortimer golf but will i slip bella's throat to get mortimer yes yes i would but you know we'll still stand okay of course you have to decide which one you really want and for me it's the red the blue is okay but the red just does something for me especially the background of the red all right so make sure you go and check this out you know have it for your screens your screen of the month your screen of the year it's just perfect but let's go ahead and move on to the next mod the next mod coming from Twisted Maxi is their Better Tea Consoles release candidate number one. Basically allows you to do selectable text when it comes to Tea Console. For those of you who are familiar with the Tea Console, then you know, you know, the Control Shift C where we put in our cheats. That's the Tea Console. Then sometimes you really can't do like a copy and paste feature with it. This mod allows us to do basically that. Hey everyone, this is a pretty simple change, but one I think will be widely, widely welcomed by both players and modders. Tea Console normally doesn't let you you copy any of the output this is a lightweight ui mod that replaces it with one that does for players this mostly means being able to copy those pesky sim ids for certain cheats for modders especially use my all cheats mod it means you'll be able to easily copy whatever outputs such as lists or buffs traits etc for your modding needs to copy just highlight the text and use Control c and paste with the Control v you know what me and Control c and Control v have been best buds since college but even before that you know it'd be like this sometimes all right this mod is straightforward it just lets you copy and paste yeah let's go ahead 
ahead and move on to the next mod. Now, I know I already showed you one loading screen, but I want to show you another. And that is because this right here took my breath away. It is the Little Mermaid 2023 Sims 4 loading screen with Holly, Haley. I know I'm butchering her name. I but it just looks so good like it looks so good she looks gorgeous as ariel and the little mermaid the little mermaid is not my favorite disney princess but she's making she's making me love she's making me love ariel okay and it looks so good on my screen i just had to show it it comes from what a great die it is free to download and i it, it just looks so good so yeah go and get this right now because I said so. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. Circling back to Wicked Pixel because Wicked Pixel has been throwing out mod hit after mod hit after mod hit. And this is their music writer career mod that allows you to basically be a music producer slash writer in the game. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. All you need is the base game computer. Usually I just choose the all in one powerful PC, which they have as a guide. And you click on the PC, you choose purchase music production software. You give it a minute. And then you do install music production software. You give it a minute and then you're able to use the music production high menu that is on the computer. Everything is actually on the high menu. You don't want to get off your computer. Of course, it was like hassle for my Sims to get, like, get up. I'm like, no, you're not done yet. And it is a new skill, which is music writer that you can unlock new features such as when you create music, you create different genres of music. You can hire someone. You can do a music collab with someone. You can copyright your music, which I thought was amazing and to be honest i feel like this is kind of what the music that came with your frame is kind of neat i really enjoyed sitting at the computer going through all the motions creating the songs and being like oh yeah copyright got to do that and i decided to do a little collab i was like me and bob pancakes about to make the hottest track of the summer we'll be in the hot 100 okay the boy's a liar the boy's a lie. Wait, no, hold on. Somebody read what that song. Never mind. Don't mind me. The mod walks you through what you have to do from the notifications tab. And I was grateful for that. I love the fact that when you do a collab, the person does their part. And then it's like, okay, now you have to record your part. And then you go to the computer, you do create your own, and then you are able to submit that to the record label. And then you get some, you really get some good money from this. I got like thousand or maybe 3000 from doing one of the track. You can also do some gigs and they'll tell you what you really want to. And you can make some good money i do wish it kind of connects to the get famous system so it'd be like you know fame level other than that i really enjoyed the mod and i think you will too so let's go ahead and move on to the next mod so for all my pink lovers out there i waited to put this mod into my game because i know i knew i just knew that you're gonna want this as soon as you saw it so this is the pink ui mod for the sims 4 by desk i hope i said your name correctly and it basically turns your ui into pink there are two versions modular and unified of course i have the unified version and it turns your loading screen it turns your world menu screen pink it turns your base your uh, world view map into like a sort of pink it turns your options into pink it turns your bottom ui pink it turns your pie menus pink your vacations are pink your build by menu is pink and i actually do like the type of pink if you are really into pink and you love pink and you want a pink ui here's the mod for you finally it's finally made your way to you i hope you enjoy it because i wasn't you know all over the place i would you know be like i need a pink ui actually i felt like changing the ui color would be like a feature in the game allowing one allowing us to change our loading and cast backgrounds like load up some mods and be like i want this one today i want that one today and our ui is like i want a dark mode today oh i want a pink today oh i want a green today that should be a feature in the game I feel like we need that. Just video of you also agree. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. Okay, so for those of you who are using Social Bunny or you stop using Social Bunny because like it's not intuitive enough, there is a new mod out for you. It's called the Immersive Social Bunny V1.0 from Plum Lace. And it is a immersive Social Bunny that provides a total of 1,200 random unique posts across all ages and even occult posts such as vampires and werewolves. Each A group is able to write a a random post from their own or individual category.
stories, happy, mean, embarrassed, sad, and even some flirty posts. So teens get 255 combined posts. Elders have 240, 242. Young adults have 179. Adults have 167. Vampires have 163. Werewolves have 158. And miscellaneous 300, not 300, 36. Amon is pretty straightforward. You just plop it into your game and then you just go to your social bunny feed. And then you don't, again, you don't really have to have an event happen to you, which you have to have out the mod in order to post like happy, sad, embarrassed, flurry, whatever. You can just choose new posts, choose write the post, and then choose the mood. And then it appears. There are some really funny ones out there that I was just like, okay, yeah, same. I feel that. And it also works when you're tagging against them as well. So I did a couple of tags and then I went to the DMs. I slid into, um, I think it was Traylon's DMs and was like, how you doing? You want to be my um, pillow fight partner? And I was, I thought that was really cute. I really did. So I was like, I was just blown away. But yeah, if you want this mod, you can go ahead and you can check it out. But let's move on to the next mod. We are at the end of the video, but of course, last does not mean least. And this mod is from Cassidy Summer. Shout out to them for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. This is their luxury real estate career mod, which is inspired from Selling Sunset, which is like one of my guilty pleasures. I don't know who else is watching Selling Sunset, but uh, yeah, it be like this sometimes. And it allows you to be a real estate agent that makes a lot of money in the game. It works like any other career. It is a rabbit hole career. You go and you get the luxury real estate agent career. And then you're able to join the Blue Ridge Realty, Realty, Realty Group as a rookie, which, okay, it'd be like that. But, you know, you're making 15 some millions an hour as a rookie, and I think that's good, okay? You can work your way up to 25 an hour to 40 hours, 75 an hour, and then it actually gives you some additional tasks, like hosting a part, kind of similar to a show where they're hosting, like, open houses and making friends and doing, you know, all the other stuff while actually making frenemies because, you know, some of them really don't really like each other if you watch selling sunset let me know your favorite person in the comments below when you get promoted you also do get some bonuses like ten thousand and twenty five thousand simoleons so i feel like you're making a pretty good gig and especially you're making over a hundred simoleons an hour you're making pretty good money make sure you go and check this out shout out again to cassie summer for sending this over to me i really appreciate it but that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the mods in this video and i will see you next time bye Let's go.